Hydrogen is being considered as an alternative fuel source for cars. Proponents even claim it as the future of the car. But the market is still very small. The German government will fund the cost of building a carbon-neutral hydrogen economy to the tune of more than 8 billion euros. Toyota also wants to get the wave rolling with the new Mirai. The second generation has been significantly improved and is one of the few hydrogen fuel cell cars on the market. Unlike a traditional battery-powered electric vehicle, the driver has less to worry about in terms of range and long charging brakes. At a hydrogen filling station, it only takes a few minutes to get a range of several hundred kilometres. Besides, the only byproduct is water. So much for the theory. In practice, however, things look a little different. But more on that later. The Mirai has actually been around since 2014. And the first generation wasn't exactly what you'd call eye-catching. It seemed as if Toyota had tried too hard to create a distinctive and instantly recognisable design language for the fuel cell vehicles. With the second generation, however, they have created an emotional design. The 2021 Mirai is one of the best-looking vehicles to come from the Japanese company in a long time. At first glance, the design language is more reminiscent of a Lexus than a Toyota, and it's certainly priced like one too. But we'll come back to that later. Unlike conventional battery-powered electric vehicles, the Toyota Mirai uses a hydrogen fuel cell to generate electricity, which in turn powers an electric motor. No horsepower superlatives coming now, though. The Mirai has 174 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. It goes from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 9 seconds. That's not really slow, but you shouldn't expect any great emotions when driving, especially since the car is very heavy at around 2 tons. However, the price of this mid-sized Toyota sedan is a deterrent at first. Toyota is asking for more than €60,000 for this model. The technology is just starting to enter the mass market, and the prices of the components for the hydrogen fuel cell are continually falling. The Japanese are trying to keep the price of the Mirai as low as possible without compromising on quality. But now to the real problem. The infrastructure is not very good yet. The Toyota Mirai is for a select group of people who are lucky enough to live near one of the few hydrogen filling stations in the world. Germany is even the best positioned with over 90 stations. In the rest of Europe, things look much worse. In the summer of 2021, Italy will have just one hydrogen filling station and Spain, none at all. Only two are planned there at the moment. To promote the technology, Toyota is currently offering up to $15,000 in fuel credits in the USA and 21 days of free car rental if you have to travel to areas where there are no hydrogen stations. Unfortunately, there is currently no such incentive program for buyers in Europe. The 2021 Mirai can travel around 650 kilometres on a single charge. Assuming you actually live near a hydrogen filling station, you could at least travel across Germany. The new model looks much more stylish than its 2017 predecessor. The new Mirai stretches to 4.97 metres. The low roof and curvaceous bonnet give it a chic and sporty look. The interior of the Mirai is remnant of Lexus, Toyota's luxury brand. The driver can expect fine materials and the latest technology. The Mirai is equipped with a large 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system as standard. Automatic energy braking and adaptive cruise control also come as standard. The 
fuel cell technology behind the Mirai is impressive. It's as straightforward as a petrol or diesel vehicle. It takes just a few minutes to fill up at a hydrogen filling station and the range is longer than most purely electric vehicles. Nevertheless, it's only for people who already live near a hydrogen filling station and are willing to pay more for new technologies.